Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show, Fernando. Welcome to the show. What you see behind us is a white G35, which could only mean one thing. Well, it could mean multiple things, but today it only means one thing, Car Stereo Lab. And today we have another great series in store for you. This one, we're gonna be testing out the Ground Zero Uranium Series. Speakers, amps, and subs. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. A while back we had Tommy on from Ground Zero. We talked about getting our hands on some of the uranium product to put in the lab to test out, see how it sounded, and report back to you guys on our thoughts on that. So with the equipment in hand, we're gonna take the lab back apart, and load it down with all this gear, and we got a ton of it. So let's start, since he's already got the door panel off, and let's take a look at the six and a half mid base, as well as the tweeter that's gonna go into the car. Let's take a look at the uranium series, GZ UK, 165 SQs. Sound quality mid kick woofer. If you flip the box over, they give you your mounting depth 2.48 inches, your width, which is 6.5 inches, your inside width, which is 5.67 inches. They also give you a ton of specifications. This is a Kipple optimized driver. The Kipple's the giant machine that gives us all our teal small parameters. Black anodized aluminum cone, GZ designed aluminum cast basket, high efficient linearized neodymium motor, durable rubber surround, gold plated terminals, GZ design hexagon protection grill, resonance frequency of 54.6 hertz, power handling of 120 watts with a max of 180 watts, efficiency is 87 dB with an impedance of 4 ohms. Sounds pretty sexy to me, let's open this thing up. This has a slide on cover for the box. Ooh, Texas is a beautiful piece of foam. Inside you'll find the owner's manual. On one side it is in German, on the other side it is in English. Just read them. A lot of this stuff, if anything, will make you smile. Thank you for choosing a Ground Zero product and welcome to your new Uranium Series loudspeaker. This is the owner's manual providing instructions on the operation and installation of this SQ Series speaker. Please read it carefully. If you have any further questions, please contact your local Ground Zero dealer or your regional distribution partner. This speaker is one of the most important parts of your car audio system. However, it will only be able to deliver its full performance when each part of the whole system is tuned carefully matching each other. Therefore, we recommend consulting a car audio specialist to compile the desired surround system as well as for installation and tuning. We hope you will enjoy the sound quality of an authentic development by ground Ground Zero engineering team. Ooh, see what I mean? These things are fun to read. Products belonging in the Ground Zero Uranium Series stand for high end sound quality or extreme power handling capability. Enough reading, let's get to the actual speakers themselves. There's a couple little bags at the top and bottom. This one here has some butyl in it for attaching these grills, as well as they come with some Ground Zero logos. Comes with four of them, as a matter of fact. The top pocket has some screws. The whole speaker itself with the grill is all wrapped in one bag. The reason they do that is so that the grill doesn't fall off and accidentally do any harm to the speakers. And when you go to pick them up, it's all in one nice bag. With it out of the bag, let's take a closer look. It's a two part grill with a mesh front. As you can see, it has this little dent in it and the holes are nice and big. If you are using the grill, this will allow for optimum air to flow through and not restrict the movement of the driver. There is also a dent here for the logo if you want to use them, which you can see there. The grill has a beveled edge to it and the mesh will line up and snap into place. And it is a nice tight fit. Let's take a closer look at speaker. The gold plated terminals are located here. One of the unique things I really like about these is that you have a screw on as well as a slide on terminal. The tinsel leads are covered. Inside you can see the blue voice coil. It has a two inch voice coil that attaches to an aluminum cone. And here's the rubber surround. You can also see the black ghosted in 
Ground Zero logo on the dust cap. Flipping the driver over, we could see that neodymium motor structure, the custom made Ground Zero basket that they use for this particular driver. The frequency response of this particular driver is 40 hertz to 3.5 thousand. As you can see here, the basket also has multiple holes for mounting options. As far as fit and finish go for this particular driver, I'm really digging this copper color here on the back. I kind of wish they would have put that somewhere on the front of the driver, maybe made the logo that color, but I get it. I also dig the fact that this is all stealth black. It looks really nice. And through a grill, the last thing I think you'd want to see is a big copper color on this. This will look through and look very factory. However, it will not give you that factory sound. The Ground Zero logo is located here. Open up to the venting of the speaker. You can see the spider here and of course the back side of the spider there. It just feels really nice in your hand. This rounding here of the magnet just uh and of course the vented pole piece here. It's pretty substantial size. They did a really nice job on this. I can't wait to hear it. And no mid bass would be complete without its best friend, the tweeter. And we have the Uranium Series GZUT28 SQ. It's a 1.1 inch 4 ohm tweeter with 130 watt power handling. Flipping it over the back, we have more of that data on it, as well as the size specifications of the tweeter. 1.2 inches thick, that is from the top of the grill to the bottom of the magnet, and it is 1.73 inches wide. The thickness of the plastic trim ring around it is 0.47 inches, almost a half inch. The mounting cup is going to have an opening of 1.89 inches. All the way out to the trim is going to be 2.3 inches. The depth is 0.83 inches. Zooming in a little closer, we have coated silk dome tweeter, neodymium magnet with dampened ventilation, 1.1 inch CCA voice coil, Residence frequency is 1300 hertz. Power handling is 80 to that peak, 130. Efficiency is 90 dBs. And with that, let's open these up and take a look at these. They have the same slide off top and that same beautiful piece of foam. Inside is the owner's manual, just like previous, German one side, English the other. It says the exact same thing here as the mid-range and gives you those specifications that we just looked at on the back of the box. The frequency response of this tweeter is 2500 hertz to 25,000 hertz. Inside the box, there's a bag in the middle. This has our locking clamps for the flush mount and the tweeters themselves. They use the same grill as the mid base, so you have a nice big open area. If you'll look here, just it's huge how far that dome sticks out. The grill is glued into place. If you did want to remove it, I'm sure you could. It has a nice open air feel. I don't really see the need to remove this guy. To get it out of the mount, just twist the tweeter and push from the bottom. On the back side of the tweeter, you can see the vented neodymium a magnet. It has a black piece of cotton in it. Look at that dome. That's a beautiful silk soft dome right there. Oof. It's heavy too. It's very heavy. Inside the box are no crossovers. This is made to be an active set. One of the things about the uranium speakers is that you can buy them a la carte. That's why we have just a box with tweeters and just a box with a mid base. They also sell a mid range to go along with these. The wiring on this, you have a stripe and a solid. The owner's manual does does not indicate which is positive and what is negative. We're gonna test that because we are gonna be installing these in a car. To do that, we'll use our mobile solutions, PT9A Plus, and attach our positive and negative test leads onto the speaker. It'll start making a popping noise. It's doing red, that means we have it backwards. Flipping them around, and we have green now. Stripe is going to be positive. Solid is going to be negative. If you're wondering if the tweeter can get any smaller than this, the answer to that is no. This is the actual size of the tweeter. This is the whole tweeter. This is as small as this will get. Keep that in mind when you're thinking of mounting locations. Obviously this is a cup that you can mold into whatever you'd like. This is all you have for mounting. No system would be complete without adding the subwoofer. And for this, we have the Ground Zero GZUW10SQ. 
HQX uranium subwoofer. This is the improved Q version. On the back of the box, they do give some of the specifications. Let's wait until we get into it. I wanna take a look at this thing first. Flipping the top up, we have the owner's manual. They give you all your teal small parameters for building your own custom box. Or if you look over here and on these area, they give you some recommended enclosures. We have the 10 inch vented 1.4 cubic feet with a 3.15 inch port, 8.27 inches long. Gonna be tuned around 31 Hertz. Band pass fourth order, as well as sealed. Sealed, we're looking anywhere between 0.7 to 1.5 five nine cubic feet all these pages if you want to do more research on them are located on their website has a top piece of cardboard as well as several other pieces of cardboard these are in there to protect the surround it comes with a gasket for the back of the woofer and then the woofer itself that is substantially heavy it also has magnet protectors located on here so that the woofer doesn't you don't drop it and crack the magnet fairly robust shipping enclosure the first thing I noticed when I pull it out of the bag is just like that mid base it's a black on black design the ground zero logo is ghosted into the dust cap when I get a woofer Naturally, the first thing I want to do is move the cone, feel the cone, test the surround, and just, just take a look at it all. Grab it, flip it over, take a look at the backside. Just like the mid base, it has that copper backside. It has a grill over the vented pole piece. It is a custom built aluminum basket made to mimic that mid range. It has the same armature that the mid range had. This is a dual voice coil. Unlike a standard slide on terminal, this woofer has has more of like an amplifier where you have an Allen screw here, you slide your ferrule covered wires into the holes here and tighten it down. It's kind of cool, I like that. These are the little touches that they do that just, they just feel really nice and they look really cool. The tinsel leads are insulated going into the spider, but then as you can see, it is an exposed tinsel lead that weaves through the spider. The magnet does have a rubber boot over it, which I don't want to peel off. Looks like it'll screw up my cool sticker that's on the back. Now that I've felt it up a little bit, let's go back and take a look at some of those specs that they have on this. Voice coil diameter is going to be two inches. This is a dual two ohm driver. FS is 41.6. Efficiency is 87.6. The size of the outer diameter of the woofer is 10.3 inches. The mounting diameter is 9.29 inches. And the depth of the woofer is 5.83 inches. Power handling is 450 watts. Now as far as the makeup of the woofer, it is a pressed and coated paper cone. It has a Kapton voice coil and former. The surround is a foam and it does have this removable style screw cover gasket here that a lot of the woofers do have made out of rubber looking at the side of the driver this is a mesh grill inside of course you can see the voice coil feels really nice it feels really well built with that being said well I hope it makes me feel really good once we get it into the car and start listening to it <laughs> 